In this video, we're going to introduce you to WP Google Maps, which is a WordPress plugin that allows you to easily integrate various features of Google Maps into your WordPress website. Uh, we actually are going to show you how to install it today, uh, though the process is basically the same as every, every other plugin you've ever installed. Uh, the reason that we're going to show you is because there are quite a number of plugins that will come up in the search results when you search for Google Maps. So we actually need to search for WP Google Maps. So we can see there it's the first result. Uh, so just as normal, I'm going to install that by clicking install and then clicking activate when it's been downloaded. So with the plugin activated, we now have the maps menu item over in the left hand menu in the WordPress dashboard. So we can just click on this and we get the welcome page, which sort of similar to your your regular WordPress welcome page when you install a WordPress update or WordPress for the first time. There's just some information about what you've actually installed. And here it's just highlighting some of the features of the plugin where you can have something such as store locator, polygons, polylines, etc. It asks you where you found out about the plugin, which you know you're more than welcome to either fill out or totally skip. Um, we'll just say we found it on the plugin repository for the moment. And then we can click OK, let's start to start looking at how we can use this. Now, first off, this plugin is free, but there is a paid for pro version available for $15 that you're more than welcome to buy if you do decide that it is something you need. Uh, this is limited in the fact that we can only create one map, but that's okay for now. We, uh, we just want to get started. So we'll use the map that's already there called my first map. So we're just going to click on edit and we'll have a look at the options that we can use. So straight away, we've got a short code. Uh, that's the shortcut we can use to copy into a post or page uh, and so on in order to make it display. We can call it anything we like and we can customize the width and the height as required as well as the map alignment which is left by default and unless you want to change it, you know, left's fine. Uh, and then you can just choose the map type. So roadmap, satellite, hybrid and terrain are available. Roadmap's probably going to be fine unless you're trying to map a nature reserve or something to that effect. So we can just save the map. Uh, just to make sure those changes we've made are actually registered. So those settings have been saved. Let's check out some of the other settings available in the tabs here. So we've got directions, uh, though these are only available when you have the paid for version. Then we've got the store locator and it's off by default. If you want to map your store using this plugin, then definitely turn it on. And you can naturally choose kilometers or miles as you see fit. Then we've got the advanced settings. So we can enable the bicycle layer and the traffic layer here if we'd like. There are more settings and options available here, but they do require that we pay for the plugin, uh, which you can read a little bit about what you get uh, when you upgrade the plugin there in that tab. However, we've just made some changes there, so I'm going to save the map one more time. And then we can scroll down and we've got some options here, so we can add a marker. We can add an advanced marker, but that's a pro feature, so we can't really add that at the moment. That really covers most of what we can do with this plugin for the moment. There are more features down below, such as allowing directions, different icons and detailed information, but this is only available when you actually pay. So if you've bought the pro version, you'll have access to all of these. When you're done and you're happy with the change you've made, just don't forget to hit save map. Then you can copy this short code here. We'll add it into a new post. And then we can see how that looks. So there we go. We've got a map showing with the pin dropped in the spot that we defined earlier. And we've just put that in a post. We've covered how to install it and how to create a map with the plugin as well. It's very, very easy to use, but there are a number of features that are only available for people that buy the Pro Edition. That's where we're going to wrap up now, though. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments.